All right, in this tutorial we're going to model a Mexican Space Agency Planetarium. Uh, it's a conceptual project made by, uh, designed by Slot Studio from Mexico. And uh, I would highly suggest, suggest you to check them out. They have great, uh, great projects. And uh, this is one of their uh, bigger projects. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can model uh, this kind of uh, building, uh, curved building with uh, these panels. So uh, let's, uh, let's start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import uh, the section here that I found on their Instagram page. And um, I'm going to, to basically uh, use it as a reference to, to model everything else. So first I'm going to use, uh, let's say, I'm going to use a line to try to find the middle point here. And uh, then let's go with the sphere. And let's see what happens. Okay, so in this case I don't see the geometry. So let's bring down the transparency of um, of this uh, image, like so. Let's lock it and let's use the sphere again. So let's say something like this. That's the sphere. And now I'm going to use a line, simple line, and I'm going to try to align it to get the correct angle. So something like this. And now I'm just going to offset it like here. And let's create this line as well, the line on the ground, so that we know uh, so that we know where the ground is, and I'm gonna cut this sphere. I'm gonna say boolean split, and let's cut the bottom off, and let's go back to the front view. Let's go to the wireframe mode, and let's continue with bringing up these sections. So, um, here it's just a matter of like finding the right uh, the right material to model this because uh, previously I tried to model it without the section and it didn't turn out so well. So I like how I found the section. So I'm going to show you now what's the easiest way. So now once you get this uh, reference uh, line, let's go to the perspective and uh, let's uh, let's copy it. So I'm copying it in the in the place. I'm gonna let's just scale center front and now I'm gonna go out outward like so and now let's uh, let's go to the perspective again and what we'll do now is we will use boolean boolean split to take out the middle. So now we have the shell and we have the inner part. And that's what we wanted. Uh, the next thing would be to just uh, cut these guys. So let's throw these lines and let's use a boolean split again on the shell. And let's say we copied all these planes, we delete the planes, we don't need them anymore. And here is the result. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So now I'm going to extract the bottom. And um, what I'm going to do next is first I'm, I will unlock the image and what we can do more is uh, let's bring, bring this guy 
in the center. And if you can, if you see on the image, there is this like mullions here, so you can try to create this. So I will show you that as well. So uh, let's say that this is actually we want just this part. So let's let's use this line as a guide to split it. So I'm going to split the bottom part. So let's go with split. Now let's select this guy and split it with this plane. And now we have just this area here. So how do you create volumes here? First, uh, the easiest way would be to actually, uh, let's see how many there are. So let's say something around 16. Okay, so in order to create this um, this mullions, let's isolate this guy first, and let's let's divide. Let's first extract these these two edges. Let's say duplicate edge, and I'm going to say that, for example, this is this area here will be enough. We're not gonna have them on the back as well, and, and now I'm going. To, I'm going to go like this. I'm gonna say split, and I'll, I'll take those curves and split them with these planes. So now I have. I can delete these curves, so I only have. I only have these basically. So what we'll do now here is divide the curve let's say 16 times, and this guy also, and uh, now let's, let's uncover this plane, and let's use uh, interpolate on surface, which is a very cool command in this case, so I'm, I'm selecting the surface, creating this, and I'm gonna go just now one by one, and it creates the curvature very nicely. And this is exactly what we want. So once we have this, these will be our mullions. Uh, to create the mullions, we can actually use the command that's called offset curve on surface. So now what we can do is we can actually offset, uh, offset uh, this curve on surface. And we're going to use a distance of 0 0.05, and we're going to use this on, on uh, we're going to use this on both sides. And once once uh, once we do this for all of them, then we can easily create the movies. So I'm just going to speed the video up now. Okay, so once, once we have this uh, uh, ready, uh, we can actually split the surface and we can use all these uh, lines as cutting objects. And now once we have the splitting, uh, we can actually uh, select all of them. First, let's delete these curves. These dots, we don't need them anymore. And uh, let me just see, okay, so. I'm going to use, I'm going to deselect them like this. Okay. And once we have this, let's group it and let's offset it a little bit. Uh, let's use 0 0.1 for offset. And these are our volumes. So, that's the final result. I will uh, I'll render this now and show you the I'll show you the final result. Here is the final rendering. Hope that you like it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below this video. 
And uh, if you like this kind of tutorials, please like and share. And make sure to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the bell icon here so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video.